How was that flight, man? Uh, I don't like flying. Really? <laughs> I wore my boots for the flight. Yeah? The whole time you take them off while you're on the plane? No, hell no. I leave them boots on. You know why I wear my boots on a plane? Mm, hold on. Let me think for a second. Nuh-uh. Right when I get on, I'm looking for terrorists. Really? Always assume there's about four of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, yeah. and if there's four of them, you know how they operate, right? There's going to be two sleepers. So I'm really, I'm looking for the four ones that are going to pop up. Yeah. Those are the motherfuckers I'm dropping first. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the most that can attack you, even if there's four of them on a plane, only two can attack you. One in the front, one in the back. I got right. a pair of boots. I'm going boom, right to the nuts. Right to the You know nuts. what I'm saying? Boom, right to the nuts. Boom, boom. Turn around. Taking out another one. And I'm going to start stomping <laughs> on their heads and shit. Yeah. And, uh. Then I'm looking for the sleepers. Oh, yeah. So And so the sleepers, is but how many more do you think that they would have? At least two sleepers, yeah. if, if they know what they're doing. If not, there's some rookies. I'm going to fuck them up anyways. Yeah, you know? if not, this is Bush League terrorism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a, I can, if not, this is a small-time outfit, you know? <laughs> it's probably just some fucking fellas out of, out of Jackson. You know, it's probably just with some guys that went to USM. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that's probably all it is. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for the real shit. Yeah. Dude, I think about that sometimes. A buddy of mine reported a uh reported a guy in his on his flight who seemed like sketchy you know mm -hmm. and the whole time the flight attendant's like watching this guy and i think it was just like a sweaty guy mm -hmm. you know just look real fidgety yeah yeah i, I keep my eyes on him yeah. yeah those could be your sleepers right there yeah, yeah, you know that, they man. might not stand up first but you know they're back there just geeking they're just yeah, ready. They're ready yeah <laughs> they're just back there sharpening their fuses <laughs> yeah, yeah they got their little shanks and shit yeah. That's where I got my boots on, buddy. <laughs> I love it, man. Um, we'll show this picture that we show a lot of me playing some hoops right here. Um, there we go, right there. That's me on the squad right there, bottom left. <laughs> and a lot of these men, dude, had children, had a lot of these men had what jobs. Is this, like a college dude? <laughs> yeah. like a D3? No, dog, this is fucking, <laughs> Middle this school? is seventh grade, baby, Damn, right bro. there. You were big back then, too. Dude, I was a fucking long guy, bro. I was doing a good, <laughs> carried a lot of weight in my ears back then, dude. <laughs> ears and nose. Bro, that's what my, yeah, my ears only got bigger after the cauliflower ear. That's crazy. So how long does it take to start that cauliflower ear? How, mm -hmm. how long does it take to really sprout? It's that? like, a, you know, I it's like, because it's the skin and then like your cartilage. Mm -hmm. The skin gets away from the cartilage by getting like banged up or whatever. Fills up with blood. And then, you know, depending on how well you take care of it, depends on like, how much you have so like some guys you see have like nice cauliflower ear this one bro was like the size of a ping pong ball in there and uh i would just drain it and drain it and drain it because i didn't want to stop training and i definitely didn't want to wear a headgear so i would just keep draining it and draining it and then one day i, ha I wasn't able to drain it anymore because the king supers i used to go to mm -hmm. to get the syringes because you do it with the syringe oh damn just quit giving me syringes no they're like no they're drugs? like no kid yeah <laughs> they're like they're like no kid like you've been here every day for the last two months <laughs> you don't get any more needles you know like this kid's putting heroin into his ears <laughs> or yeah. maybe they were doing it for the drug addicts actually now that i think about it maybe like hey man we're running out of needles man some people need those yeah it could have been man maybe yeah maybe people the wire might have been put back on hbo <laughs> um i remember using uh steroids and we'd have to go to like a place and convince them to give us the needles when i was in high school <laughs> And that shit was always awkward. The lies we would make up it's for a dog, as we would always say, dude. We like one kid said it was for this is the worst, dude. My friend was such an idiot. He said it was for his um voodoo doll. The lady's like, well fucking just get some regular needles. You don't need fucking hypodermic syringes. Unless your voodoo doll's fucking really going through some tough shit, you know? I wanted to be a I don't know. I guess it fighting found me. I wanted to play any sport, anything, football, basketball, and then boxing. We used to do fight club after school. After at the, school. At the soccer field, we would walk out there and bring gloves, fight after school. Were you good at it then? I was strong, but like, what is good at fighting? Because if somebody else, everybody got a trick, right? They're like, oh, I do this fake and then throw this kick. And then, you know, I get knocked down. But it, that's always been my thing. It's like, you, I'm too tough, too strong. Yeah, you can hurt me. Yeah, you can hit me. Yeah, you can knock me down. I make mistakes. But, like, I'm going to wear you out. 
and then I'm going to drown you. That's what it's about. Fuck. Damn, that's crazy to know you can do that. Yeah. How about... That's interesting to know you could do that, bro. Because if I say that to somebody, they're not going to believe that shit. <laughs> That's a crazy part, bro. And that's fine, but No, nah, but you don't you don't say that shit. See, so like right. as a fighter, I'm like, I'm always like, damn, what's a normal person do? Like, what do they do? Normal person. Oh like yeah. you, a comedian. That's not even normal either. What is normal? Not a guy who works at McDonald's. That's not normal. Yeah, that's not super normal. I don't know, maybe somebody that just goes for a Types walk. Types on the keyboard or somebody that goes for a walk. That seemed like a normal dude. If I see somebody going for a walk, but also yeah, I had a what friend. What do they do? Do they type on a keyboard for work for money? I don't know. I had a friend who was a peeping tom, bro. And so if you just and here's the crazy part, and I, you know I met him at a certain type of recovery meeting, and you know, but and I would see him in my neighborhood all the time. I didn't know for years I would see him, and then one time I was in a meeting, and a dude said he was a flasher and a peeping tom, and I was like, damn, bro, I've been seeing this dude the whole time, thinking he's a normal guy that's going for a walk. And he's out there trying to fucking show that bird, you know? Wow. And that's crazy. And I remember one time we was at the liquor store with my uncle. And my dad had left me up there for a couple months. And uh, they had, this lady came up. She goes, have you seen my kitty? It was in a liquor store. He's buying liquor. Because he was a, um out-of-work musician. And so he's buying a bunch of liquor. And she goes, have you seen my kitty, this lady? And I didn't know. We're inside a store, you know, in a building. And she just opens her jacket, bro. And she had all tits and cooter. And belly. And belly, was too. Was she fat? I don't remember, bro. I was so horny at the time, bro. All I saw was literally from tits to cooter. I couldn't even see nothing in between there. And that's that's being horny as a child. We got three animals right here, man. We just wanted to let you know what. How would you how would you handle these three situations? Here's the first one right here. Is Bryce famous put a deer in a twister? Here's a fella right here. Has he been shot? No. Mm, I I would. This guy's just trying to I guess touch hands first. Ooh. Oh shit! Damn. Damn, dude. So I guess he maybe got a little close to petting him or something. How if you're yeah. if you're yeah, how do you handle that situation? Well, he, Whose side are you on there, okay. you think? First off, he fucked up, he's right in front of it. You want to walk up behind it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's yeah, where yeah. he fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come up behind it. I take a knee on belly. Yeah. Um, you know, don't give up position. Yeah. That's all I got to say, bro. Like like straight up, like stay on top when you're talking with them deer, bro. Because they got that, they got that good top game. Their bottom game is weak. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, it becomes a positional battle. And like I said, he should have approached from the back. From the back. That's where he fucked but up. But their bottom game, if you're on bottom, there you got those antlers. That's insane to deal with. Oh, that was though. a buck. Yeah, that's that's a different story right there. But here's what I'd have done. I'd have, I'd have, uh, you know, locked out my arms. Uh huh. Now I'm, I got a little knee on the ribs. Uh -huh. Arms locked out. Now he's awake. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna brainstorm for a minute. I'm, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I ain't been there. To, I ain't been in that one yet. I'm yeah, gonna lock boy. him out and I'm gonna brainstorm for a minute. Grill a little bit open, bro, that, baby. That fucking. Uh, let me tell you what. That rear naked is gonna be hard with them antlers in the way. Yeah. You might have to pull triangle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's gonna get desperate. Uh, yeah, actually, trying at least you'd have more control. You'd probably be able to keep him upright enough to keep that keep the antlers away from you. If if you want to be real fucked up and you can talk about some animal cruelty, yeah, um, you go for armbar, <laughs> bro. Then then you won because even if you yeah. know he ain't going nowhere, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if them antlers are in the way, bro, go pull an armbar. And like I said, I'm all about position, staying on top. But if you can't sink in that choke and that deer's getting up and you see an arm. Yeah. Go for that arm bar, brother. Yeah, and he got four arms, dude. That's what I'm saying, yeah. bro. Like, he ain't gonna, you know, he ain't got no defense, you know? Yeah. The, the best defense is hold your hands together. Yeah. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Yeah. Damn, that's a risky move. Here's a second one. We got three of them for you. Here's a second one. Now, this lady got... That's a good position. Keep the volume off. So, that lady got... She got, uh... That lady got took took that. It's a looks like a doe or just a female. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. It, she just she took his back and got him down. See what you see here is perfect. We got situational awareness. I promise you, this ain't her first go around. Yeah. You see that them hips on that? She's putting them hips on that deer's hips. She is keeping that low center base, knees spread out. And she's Bro, I, I, I can tell you right now, this ain't her first first rodeo yeah this ain't the first deer at the walmart for this lady no nah, bro this and she's holding that arm she's got that arm locked too if you see up by that she's got she's keeping that arm that deer from getting any uh I, i'm not even going to comment on this because she's doing far better than i would have yeah. you know what i'm saying like she that's a clean up on aisle three yeah. she's gonna take it out and it's, it's done with <laughs> i think yeah she's already cleaned up let's get that third one the last one we got here she's perfect technique and this one we can have some audio on Oh, no, yeah, this was fine. And how do you handle this situation? <laughs> and this deer obviously on some uppers. Oh, yeah. Well, right there, I don't see anybody trying to cut off the, the room. You know what I'm saying? I see that guy. First off, he gets up out of the chair and he's not in a stance. That's where he fucked up first. Yeah, that that's guy. the first thing I do because, you know, there ain't no, that door ain't. He ain't going to go out the back door. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, first true. thing I'm doing, see, he's right out the front door, like I said, because look, he ain't even got a stance. First thing I'm doing, brother, I'm getting low in that stance. Yeah. I'm going left, right. We're, you know, he's going to have to go back to that door. Yeah. And then I'm going to creep a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm yeah, gonna, yeah, I'm yeah. Play it out. I'm going to get in range, too. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's going to be doing this shit, so I'm, I'm back up, go gonna... in a little bit, maybe slack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you, you have no footwork there. You have, nah. how, how is he going to pursue that deer? You know what I'm saying? He's flat, standing straight up, yeah. completely unprepared. I wish that girl from Walmart was there. Oh, right. yeah, you really do. <laughs> That's who you wish was getting her hair cut. But people completely unexpected this shit, bro. Like, yeah. they got to be ready. You got to be ready at all times. But that's true, man. I think you have to take a little bit of position there for sure. Absolutely. I think that guy didn't want the smoke. He kind of, wa no. he like kind of wandered over there. He ain't never had some good deer jerky. Yeah, he never had some. He had some good deer jerky. He'd be like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cook you up, yeah, buddy. We're not, we're not letting this thing leave. That's right.